Hi everyone, it's Carolyn Zook here with C Zook Stitch. Welcome to my Floss Tube channel. Today is Saturday, July 27th, 2019. I'm really glad you're here. It has been a really busy couple of weeks at work. We have, for those who don't know, I work for the medical school with the medical students. We have our new incoming medical students start a week from Monday, so they start on August 5th. So we have been very busy running around preparing for them. Um, they start August 5th. There will be 169 of them. So it's a lot. So we're busy, but it's all good. It's a really exciting time. The new med students bring such a breath of kind of fresh air uh, to us, and uh, we really enjoy having them around. So we're very excited, but it's just really hectic right now. So I'm going to jump right into whips. The first whip, I have a, I have a pile of things down here. First whip I want to show you is Harbor Haven. I finished scene four. So this is what it's looking like. Scene four is right here. And do you see the birds up here? Uh, so we have scenes one through four are done. And it's been really, really fun. I have eight more scenes to go. I am going to put it away for a while. Uh, we have some sows coming up and I just need a break from it. I have been working on this since a about mid-April, I think. I am stitching it on 32 count, what is it, Belfast linen in vintage smoky white, which I really, really like. I use mostly DMC. There's cat hair all over this. I'm using mostly DMC except for the water. I'm using a Threadworks. The number is 1056. So that is where we're at, and I am going to put her away for a while. Probably until next year, early part of next year, just because we have so many sows coming up. So once I finish that, I finished Harbor Haven. I finished it on July 18th, so almost 10 days ago, nine days ago I finished it. So obviously I needed something else to work on. So I pulled out something that I started in early April, probably while I was waiting for my fabric to come in for Harbor Haven. I pulled this out. This is called Cherry Blossoms. It is from a Cross Stitch Gold magazine, and I don't have the date. It's something from spring. It was a great spring uh, pattern. It's kind of washed out a little bit. It's really gray, and I'm wearing white, which I think kind of washes me out a little bit. And it's not sunny out right now. It's very gray and overcast in Portland. So, uh, yeah, so this is what I pulled out to work on, and I'll show you my progress. <laughs> So I had started this, I had the first flower in here almost done. It is no longer there. And you can see I had something up here that I ripped out. Let me show you on this. So I'm starting up here at the top. I had most of this flower almost done. When I realized it was so, I was off so much. There's a lot of color changes. And when I started this, this was my first time using linen. I am stitching this on 28 count ice blue Lugana in, uh, from Zweiger. It was my first time using anything other than Ada. And I think I got, I had a little trouble doing over two for the first couple weeks and then my eyes adjusted. And so when I pulled it back out, I was trying to fudge it a little so I wouldn't have to frog the whole thing or frog parts of it. And the more I tried to fix it, the worse it got. So one night I just ripped it out and I'm actually, I tried working on this area and something in here is messed up as well with the holes. It's not so much the colors, but it's where I was using the holes just because it was my first time using something other than Ada. So I had to rip that out and I might just end up ripping it all out and starting over next spring. So I'm not sure. I, I do like it. They made it into a pillow. I probably won't make it into a pillow because my cats would rip it up and there's a lot of back stitching in there. But I like it. It's really pretty. I really love cherry blossoms. So I'm going to put that away. That went into timeout. I was very frustrated. That took me maybe three or four days and it was quite frustrating. 
So what I'm doing is I'm biding my time until the Cross Stitch Nation sale starts on August 1. So I pulled back out my Tiny Modernist Santa's House. It was a six-part mystery series. This came out last winter, so 2018. And you got the outline or the outside pieces and then each... I can't even remember every two weeks or once a month. I can't remember. They released a part of the inside of the house. So I worked on it during the month of November. I think I have pulled it out once before, uh, since then just to work on it while I'm waiting for other things to come in. Oops. Santa was upside down. So this is where I'm at. I'm working on all the outside first. I'll try to insert a picture. I think I took a picture of where I was when I started this session. So where I've been working is I've been working down here at the bottom. I did all this white cross stitch, so that's not very exciting. But last night I did get this reindeer done. There is another reindeer over here. So it's, it's coming together slowly but surely. Uh, I have this whole other side to work on as well and then do all the interior scenes. So right, I did this guy last night. There's one more reindeer and a little elf to do. And do you see all these little patches of snowflakes? I think what I'm going to do, I did start them can see maybe you hopefully that you can see that I did start them up in this side I might take them out and use beads or sequins instead just to give it a little bling but that's where I'm at I'm going to continue working on Santa's house until August 1 when the sow starts the stitch along so that's that's what I'm working on yeah I think that's it for whips not too exciting but I have some haul of course, I have some haul. The first thing I want to show you, so here's my bag from, oops, here's my bag from Acorns. Acorns and Threads, their bag. First thing I got, actually, I got this from my grocery store yesterday, uh, Fred Meyer. It is a lint roller, and I keep it in my stitching bag, and you zhuzh it up, and you just roll, roll, roll the cat hair off, and then you twist, and it goes down. You twist it up. So it's meant for travel, but I thought it'd be great in my stitchy bag or for travel, and it comes with refills as well. The brand is Flint, and they have different colors. I got pink. Okay, so from Garon Tote and Bags, I got this autumn. They were doing a pre-sale for their bags for this pattern, so these are no longer available. This is for, they are doing an Autumn Quaker Sal stitch along. And to go along with their Sal, they made the special bags and grime guards. So I got a set. I am not doing that Sal, but they let me pre-order anyway. So I got that in the mail, which will be great for my fall projects. And I ordered, I, this isn't out of package yet, and I'll explain why. I ordered, this is 11 by 17 grime guard. I think I only have one 11 by 17 and I'm really liking that size of Q-snap. Can you see? It says dog on it. I think when I saw online, and this was my fault for not looking closely, I think I thought they were cats. And then I got it and it says, oh, it's a dog. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to this for a giveaway. I'm not going to take it out of the package. I'll hold on to it and if somebody wants that... We are a little over 200 away from 1,000 subscribers, so when we hit 1,000, I have several ideas of giveaways to do, so I will hold on to that for a giveaway. What else? Oh, these came in the mail. These are just floss. They're plastic reusable floss cards. I haven't even taken them out of the package yet. Got those. Oh, goodness. Okay. Why did I say, oh goodness, I don't know. Joanne's was having a sale. I think it was 60% off. So I picked up a second needle organizer. 
I am thinking ahead and getting ready for the Farewell to Anger Sow starting January 1. I think this might come in really handy. I don't know. Anyway, it was only $15, so can't hurt to have another one. I use the other one I have, I use is all filled up for uh, Harbor Haven. So, next, sorry about the crinkling. I had to place an order with 123 Stitch because when I bought my floss from Joann's, they had a sale at the beginning of July where I picked up a bunch of floss for Farewell to Anger because their floss was 40% off. My Joann's was out of a lot of them or they didn't have all the color, all the amount, the amount of skeins that I needed. So I went on 123 Stitch and just bought the rest of them, which is quite a, it looks like a lot, but compared to how many there were to buy, I think this one has 90 colors. This is nothing. So I bought that. So I think I'm all set for the sow. I picked up some more needle threaders. And then I was just, I just, right before I sat down to do this video, I commented on a, uh, I'm doing the sow with Jan Hicks. Jan Hicks from Jan Hicks Creates and I are doing the Farewell to Anger sow starting January 1. I picked up 25 count white Lugana fabric. I just had this discussion with Jan right before I started this video where she's probably going to do the easy grid. I don't know why I didn't get the easy grid. <laughs> I just didn't. I don't know why. I think I, I have no reason why I didn't. And I think I am going to go and I'll save this. This is a big piece, 27 by 36. I can use it for something else or several something else's. I think I am going to go back and get the Easy Grid. If you have any experience with Easy Grid, let me know how you like it and which you would prefer if you're doing the sow, the farewell to anger sow. There are a lot. So my hesitation is that I have heard that the grid lines are hard to get out in washing. But farewell to anger is a fairly dark piece, so I don't think it will really show through. I don't think it will matter. But if you have experience with it, do let me know what you think. So the Easy Grid, if you aren't familiar, it has the grid lines already printed on, I think they're in blocks of 20 by 20, not 10 by 10. So you don't have to do any gridding. And a lot of, I know a lot of people use them for their heaven and earth full coverage designs. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. But this is really pretty. It's just white fabric, nothing special because it's full coverage. So you won't see any of the fabric anyway. So we are getting ready. We are close. I have plenty Plenty more months to get ready, but when I see a sale, I just can't refuse. The other thing, every time I place an order for 123 Stitch, I pick up a Mill Hill kit because I am collecting Mill Hill kits to do a, a Christmas village all on one piece of fabric, similar to Oh Miss So Crafty has done it. I'll link her below. So I picked up the toy shop. These Mill Hill kits come with everything you need. They have the floss, the beads, there's perforated paper, which I won't be using, and then most of them have a little button toy shop, so that's a little dolly. I originally was talking about doing 16 kits all in one piece of fabric. I think I'm going to do 12. 12 is plenty, right? I keep looking at, at Omis Crafty's piece, and she did three across by four down. So she, she has 12, and it's huge. I don't think I need 16, right? Tell me what you think. I'm thinking, I'm leaning more towards 12, and I believe this would be number eight, so I'd only have to collect four more before I can start it. So I'm very excited about that. I have never beaded before, but there you go. Okay, it's such a mess around me. I don't know why, but it is. The other thing that I got just last night, so here's your enabler alert, everybody. Heaven and Earth Designs is currently having a sale. So if you want to join us for the Farewell to Anger Sal starting January 1, I believe everything is half off, about half off. So you should go over to Heaven and Earth Designs. I will link it below. Don't worry about that. You just click on the link and it'll take you right there. And pick up Farewell to Anger. You can get it for around $10 for the chart. 
What I picked up last night, they've been having a lot of sales. Last time I showed you Balmy Spring. This time, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous, you guys. Last night I bought this. This has been on my wish list. This is Super Size Tree of Life Ruby, artwork by William Morris, chartered a course by Michelle. This is 792 stitches wide by 999 stitches high. It is a huge piece. On 25 count fabric, it'll be 31 and 5 eighths inches wide and almost 40 inches high. It has 85 colors. It looks like a tapestry. I saw somebody on Stitch Mania who did it, or maybe it was the Heaven and Earth Facebook group, either way or probably both, and it looked stunning. It looks like a tapestry. And I like a good challenge. <laughs> Jan, Jan, Jan Hicks. Um, so if you like this, if you're looking for anything, Heaven and Earth Designs is having a sale. I've heard, and I don't see it on the website, but somebody on the Facebook group said that the sale goes until August 1. So that would be Thursday. I'm looking at a calendar right here. Thursday is August 1. Okay. So that's my haul that I bought. Then I got a couple things in the mail. The first thing I got in the mail was from my aunt in Minnesota. And as most of you know, my grandmother recently passed away uh, mid-June. And I went back for the funeral and also because my niece graduated from high school. And so we celebrated her and celebrated my grandmother's life. Well, after I got home, my aunt, this aunt, uh, is uh, in the process of moving. She, within a, I don't know, one month period of time, she lost her mother. She had to have knee surgery. She retired. She retired two days ago and she bought a new house. <laughs> so four major, any one of those major life events would be a lot in a one month period, let alone all four. So she's doing a bunch of cleaning and packing because she is moving and she came across this started cross stitch. Sorry again about the uh, crinkling. This was something my grandmother, so I wasn't sure if my grandmother had ever stitched. I don't remember her stitching, but I also didn't grow up in the same city as her. So she sent this. So my aunt said, I took this from grandma maybe 20 years ago thinking I would finish it and she never did and so she wanted to pass it on to me thinking I wouldn't finish it. So this is where it started. I'm not even sure which way it goes. I don't know which way it goes. I haven't sat down and studied the, um, the chart but I will show you. So there's no picture so I'm going to stand back and show you the chart. This is a Janlin kit. Everything came in here together, all the floss and everything. I don't see a picture of what it will look like. I don't see a date on it either. It's called Joy Banner. I don't see a date. I mean, it's probably from the late 80s maybe I don't know I'm gonna hold it back and just flash it really quick so that's what that will look like so it's a French horn with the ribbon and it says the word joy across the top so I got that I got a note from my aunt that just says that this was a kit grandma had started years ago I took it at one point with the intention of working on it but never did now it's yours to do with what you will as long as I don't give it back to her oh I do have it look look it is in here I missed it. Okay, so this is what it will look like. Joy Banner, 1989. So that's what it will look like when it's done. Even the green ribbon is in here. Look, there's my grandmother's handwriting. <laughs> Medium yellow. All the floss. There's this big floss um, keeper shaped like a butterfly. I don't know if that came with a kid or if she put it in there. It also came with backing fabric as well. 
So I will definitely be doing this. Uh, I'm not sure when, of course, but I will definitely be doing this. So Gail, thank you very much for sending this to me. I, I, I love that I will be able to work on something that my grandmother had started. And Gail, hope your surgery recovery is going well. Happy retirement. Happy new house. Anything else I missed? Your life is crazy right now. Okay, so that is from my aunt. And then I received a lovely package in the mail from Elizabeth. She sent me this card. Elizabeth won one of the giveaways. Isn't that pretty? It's glittery. I don't know if you can tell. But it's got little glitter. And she wrote a lovely, lovely note. So thank you very much, Elizabeth. And along with that card, she sent me a book of stamps. She said that she wanted to help sponsor a giveaway, some giveaways. So she sent along a book of stamps, which is very lovely of you, Elizabeth. Not only that, she sent along some charts, several charts that she wants to, she says, I've stitched them all except Beachy Mood. So she stitched them all except for this one she didn't stitch. She just accidentally bought it twice. She said, I could keep any I like to stitch and the rest give away on floss tube. So Elizabeth, thank you so much. I'm going to show you what all she sent. I mean, these are just fantastic. So this beachy mood, this is a Cricut collection. Isn't that pretty? Look at that little seagull. I love that little seagull over there. So she sent that one. That one was the duplicate. She sent, oh, Christmas tree. This is by... All Through the Night by Bonnie Sullivan. I think I'm going to keep this one. I can think of so many color combinations that I want to do with this. Like a navy blue with silver, navy blue with gold, navy blue with pink, navy blue with white. It doesn't have to be navy blue. You could do a silvery fabric with hot pink tree for a little modern effect. Uh, there's so many, there's so much that you can do with this. And I really think it's just one color of thread. So I'm probably gonna keep that one and do that at some point. So, and then she sent Country Cottage Needleworks, Christmas carols. So it's Away in a Manger, Silent Night, Joy to the World, We Three Kings, Deck the Halls, Christmas Tree, and the First Noel. Isn't that pretty? Love those ornaments up there. That's just really pretty. She also sent, this is another little house, or this is a little house needleworks. It's called Necessities Sampler. Look at that. So it's an alphabet with a little house, but F for fabric, N for needle, T for thread. Just, just the mere basics in life that you need. So that's really sweet. This one, I have never seen this one before. This is another Little House Needleworks. It's called Little House. It's called Batter Up. So you see it says Home Run, Slugger, Baseball. And that, that banner. Isn't that sweet? So she sent all those along with the stamps and a really lovely card. Elizabeth, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. And we will definitely be doing giveaways with these uh, in a little bit. Not today, but in a little bit, we definitely will be. I don't know why it's such a mess today. I'm feeling really disjointed today. So my apologies if I seem really disjointed. I am feeling very disjointed. Either I've had too much coffee or not enough. Maybe I need water. I have to, when I drink water at home, I have to always have a lid because Simon will stick his face in the water and he'll drink it. He has access to water. He just wants my water instead. All right, I have my notes right here. So I talked about the hate sale. Go ahead and get farewell to anger or anything else you've been wanting on your wish list. Uh, and Jan, I sent you the link for Balmy Spring. Uh, in the comment on YouTube. So there's a sale, so you kind of have to get that one. For the 
See, I'm, try I'm mixing up the words sail and sal. Stitch along. For the stitch alongs, I had a conversation with Carla. Carla Kathy? Kathy? I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name, but Carla and I were talking about... I, I don't look at the days of the week necessarily for... I just say, we're going to start this on August 1 because that's an easy date to remember and everybody will remember the first of the month. Well, then Carla and I were talking about the long dog sale and I said September 1 and then she actually looked at the calendar and said, oh, September 1 will be great because that's in the United States, it's Labor Day weekend. We get... September 2 is Labor Day, so a lot of people get that day off of work. And then I thought, well, that's silly because September 1 is a Sunday, and we will have missed all day Saturday to stitch on it. So we're going to move back the, um, move back, forward, move up. I get this too mixed up all the time. We're changing the date of the long dog sow. Instead of September 1, we're going to start it on August 30th, which is a Friday. So if you do Friday off the grid stitching party where that's uh, Caroline's thing, Friday off the grid, where you stitch for as long as you want, but I think the idea is stitch for about six hours starting at 6 p.m., you can start it on that Friday. You could start it whenever. There's no rules, right? But I'm going to plan to start it on that Friday night. August 30th and then we'll have the whole weekend in that extra day if you don't have to work and if you do have to work we thank you very much uh, for working for the rest of us uh, on on Labor Day so that's what we're going to do so we're changing the date of the long dog sow and the long dog sow is any long dog you're working on, already working on, or want to work on, want to start. I will be starting Hoity Toity using the Jan Hicks color conversion, which I will link below. And then Cross Stitch Nation. Let me sift through my pile of stuff down here and find it. Cross Stitch Nation. Yes, I have a label maker, guys, and yes, I use it. This is one of those little pouches. I just got this at the container store. Everything fits in here perfectly. I just use these pouches for what as I'm kitting up. And then once I kit it up, I'll put it in a garron bag. So, Cross Stitch Nation by Heartstring Samplery, Beth Twist. I belong to the Cross Stitch Nation. This was $10 at my LNS at Acorns and Threads. I have a bunch of the floss in here. Not entirely sure what I'm doing with the skin colors. I am going to change them up a bit to show a little more diversity. Uh, and I'll kind of figure that out as I get to them. The fabric I am using for this is a 32 count Lugana in Silvery Moon. It's got a little, does it have a little bit of sparkle? No, I guess not, not really. It's just a really cool gray. And I think the colors will really pop against it, if you can see, which is kind of what I was looking for for this piece. So we'll start that August, August 1, next Thursday. And we are using the hashtag cross stitch nation sow. That means cross stitch, you're going to have three S's in a row, but don't worry, it's, it's correct. Cross stitch nation sow. I am on Instagram. I don't use Instagram a lot, so I'm not sure what my name is on there. Uh, but we'll find each other. <clears throat> and then on the Facebook, like Stitch Mania and all that, I'll use the same hashtag in there. So post pictures of your progress. Put Use the hashtag. Hashtag, this apparently means hashtag. Um, and yeah, so that is what is coming up. Plans. Like I said, I'm going to be working on Santa's house until Thursday. Thursday, I'm going to do Cross Stitch Nation. Those are my plans. So I had a couple giveaways last time that I want to give away this time. So the first giveaway was the llama. So it was this. Is this the right one? Yes. This issue of Cross Stitcher Magazine, June 2019, and it comes with 
this free kit, Llama Love. You make a card, and it comes with what you need to make the card. And I asked you to say, I love llamas. And I have to tell you a funny story. <laughs> when I first went into comments after posting last week's video, when I first went into the comments, whoever posted first, I think Yvette, it was you, and you said, I love llamas. And I had forgotten that that was what this was for. <laughs> I said, oh, that's, and I was thinking in my head, it's like, oh, that's great. I like llamas too. And then I realized that she was actually entering for this. But the winner of this is Jan R. So Jan, congratulations. I will reply to your comment, but please email me at czookstitch at gmail.com. It is in the drop down box below. So do send me an email with your address and I can get that out in the mail to you. I am planning on going to the PO box on Monday. So if you can email me right away, we can get that shipped out to you on Monday. The second one was Cross Stitch Crazy Magazine from the spring. It doesn't have a date on it that I saw, but it's the spring issue. And it comes with this cute swan card kit with everything you need. And you were, I asked you to say, I love swans. Cynthia M., you won this. So Cynthia, again, please give, I will reply to your comment, but please do give me a email and I will get those sent out to you. I think that's everything for today. I feel a little scattered. I have to go clean the bathroom, do some laundry, and I'm probably going to take a nap today. But other than that, it's a pretty quiet weekend, which is really nice because it's been quite hectic and busy, well, this whole year. Um, yeah, but it's good. It's all good. We're excited. We're excited for the new students to start. That's always a, just really rejuvenates me because they're so excited and they're so happy to be there. All right, everybody, have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.